Hello everybody. Today I am going to discuss in this video about the functions of optical parts of a compound microscope. Let's start. So our contents of discussion is uh, number one is optical parts of the compound microscope and its uh, functions and uh, number two is how to calculate the magnification. So optical part function and its calculation of magnification. What are the optical parts? So you can see that these are the optical parts of a compound microscope. This is the eyepiece. You are very familiar to that. It is the topmost part of a compound microscope. Then comes the objective lenses. Their lenses means more than one objective lens is present here attached with the revolving nose piece. Then comes the substage uh, structures that is the condenser and the diaphragm. This one is. And then the plano concave mirror. One side of the mirror is plane, another side of the mirror is concave. So these are considered as the optical parts of a compound microscope. So functions of the eyepiece. So this is the eyepiece. If we zoom it or if we take out it from the compound microscope, then it looks like this. This 10x means uh, this is the power of the magnification power of this eyepiece. So this is the lens through which we can view the specimen kept on stage. So this is the stage we can view from here what is kept here. It magnifies the specimen. Naturally, it has got a magnification power of 10x. It is also known as ocular lens. So eyepiece is also known as ocular lens. Objective lenses. So these are the objective lenses. These are attached with the revolving nose piece. So this is how they looks like. Usually there are uh, three objective lenses. One is low power objective lens, then middle power objective lens, then high power objective lens. So these lenses magnify the specimen according to their magnification power. So naturally the low power objective lens that is the 10x, it will, it will magnify 10 times, then 40x, then 100x. So these are different types of objective lenses. So this much of objective lenses can be attached with the compound microscope. All the um, powers are written here. You can see this is 10x, this is 100x and so on, 40x and so on. Functions of condenser and diaphragm. So you can see that this condenser and diaphragm are situated just below the stage. So this is how the condenser looks like and this is how the diaphragm looks like. So condenser gathers and focus the light from the light source onto the specimen being viewed. This is the tip of the condenser. There is a hole in the stage and this tip actually focuses through that hole. And uh, on the stage, their specimen is kept so that the illumination that is gathered or the light that is gathered by the condenser totally falls onto the specimen so that it can be illuminated. Now regarding the diaphragm, this is the diaphragm. It is a disc shaped, you can see. It's kept under the stage. By turning it, a person can vary the amount of light passes through the stage opening. So this is the device by which we can uh, turn it. So if we move it in this way, it will uh, open. And if we move it in this way, it will gradually uh, close or the vice versa. Okay. It depends upon the you are using the right hand or the left hand like that. So this is the use of the condenser and the diaphragm. So how the diaphragm works? So this is the diaphragm that uh, present in the compound microscope. So this is minimally open diaphragm. This is uh, somehow we can say 25 to 50% open diaphragm. And this is the fully open diaphragm. And this is the device, this rod like structure. It is the device by which we can open the or close the diaphragm. So here you can see a, a picture that depicts that uh, what is the eyepiece view when a diaphragm is opened in 0%, 25% or like that. This green colored thing is the specimen that is placed on the uh, stage 
and now when the diaphragm is only 0% open then also still there is a small hole and you can see that much of the eyepiece view now when it is 25% open then that much view can be seen when it is 50% open this is the view when 75% open that is the view and when the 100% open then there is a full view so this is the way how the diaphragm works now comes the story of the plano concave mirror so the mirror is situated here it looks like this it can be revolved uh, these are the screws which helps this to revolve and it can be fixed and it can be pulled out so it collects the light from the light source now the light source can be different types of it can be sunlight when the sunlight is off it can be tube light or any other type of light source and it shine up the specimen present on the slide so that it can be viewed through the magnification lens so to view something kept on the stage we need some light and that light is means collected by the mirror which then goes through this just now we have discussed about that that goes through this uh, condenser and diaphragm and then it illuminates the specimen that is placed on the stage so this mirror actually collects the light now the story of magnification so magnification refers to how much a specimen is enlarged in appearance that means whatever the actual size of the specimen that is different now how much it is magnified when we see it under the uh, high or the low power objective of the microscope and when we see it finally through our eyepiece now how to calculate that so there is a formula magnification of the ocular lens that means the magnification of the eyepiece into magnification of the objective lens whatever the objective lens we are using is equal to total magnification for example if the magnification of ocular lens is 10x and the magnification of the objective lens is 40x then total magnification 10 into 40x is equal to 400x this magnification of the oculars may be 5x this objective lens may be 10x then the magnification will be 5 into 10 is equal to 50x so this is how the calculation of magnification has been done so thank you very much for your patient listening don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you can get more informative videos like that if you have any query regarding this video please feel free to write in the comment box so that i can solve the problem wait for my next video which will discuss about the different uh, mechanical parts function of the different mechanical parts of the compound microscope so long bye bye